Days after endorsing Vice President Kamala Harris, Elon Musk chastised Jennifer Lopez for her supposed association with alleged abuser Sean Diddy Combs. On the most recent Joe Rogan Experience broadcast, the ex-boss made an appearance and demanded to know why the singer failed to alert anyone to the reported misdeeds of her ex-boyfriend. J-Lo was like his ex-girlfriend, and now it's like she's warning people against Trump, Musk said. She warned about Diddy, but how many people did she warn? Oh, zero, all right. Perhaps we shouldn't believe what she says. It's odd that so many people who used to attend his events are now vocal supporters of Harris, Rogan continued, building on Musk's critique of celebrities promoting Harris. There was something horrible about it, and it was obvious that he was doing it for his own amusement as well. Musk continued, people in the music and entertainment industry had to know that Diddy was basically abusing kids, but they still fed him kids. For example, where is the responsibility? They must have known. Following a two-hour chat, Rogan declared his support for Trump in the 2024 race. Between 1999 and 2001, Lopez and Diddy, who were both 55 years old, were one of the most well-known couples of the late 1990s and early 2000s. Although they were never wed, she previously disclosed that the disgraced celebrity frequently requested a divorce and referred to their relationship as a marriage. According to her 2001 interview with Rolling Stone, he told me several times, I want a divorce. He would ask, so where do I send the paper? When I was frequently away, or he couldn't walk very far, for whatever reason, Jennifer clarified that she wished to keep specifics about the couple sacred and private, as they tended to keep quiet about their relationship. After Diddy was accused of sexually assaulting a 13-year-old girl the same evening that Jennifer and Diddy were photographed fighting at a party before departing later with his crew, their time together has once again come under scrutiny. The timing of the alleged assault, which is reported to have happened at a house later that evening, adds a worrying dimension to the events of the evening and raises concerns about the nature of the relationship at a time when severe allegations are now overshadowing it. After remaining together for five more months, the pair parted ways in February 2001. After being barraged with inquiries concerning her association with the alleged sexual predator, Lopez was observed hastily leaving the autograph signing area. During the signing Lopez, who is currently divorcing her estranged husband Ben Affleck, was asked personal questions regarding her connection to Diddy. J-Lo, do you have any remarks about Diddy and the allegations? A fan approaching the Hollywood favorite asked in the video. With other fans yelling at her to don't leave, she abruptly stopped signing autographs and left the room. She departed the event without responding to any inquiries regarding her previous relationship. Nevertheless, despite their desire that she stay, Lopez voiced fury over the Puerto Rico jab at Trump's rally in Madison Square Garden last week and pushed Nevada voters to give Harris a Hollywood ending. 